What's up, YouTube? What's up, uh, guys? This is going to be a different uh, video um, topic that I'm usually that I usually um, uh, I'm not really covering. It's not normal part of my channel. I'm making this video because um, there's a lot of discussion out here about what happened at the Oscars with Will Smith and uh, Chris Rock, right? And I've been going back and forth on Facebook with different comments, been having discussions, and I just want my opinion and, and what I have to say to be publicly heard and to be understood. And I figure just use my platform to do it. And if you want to, you know, make comments, if you want to continue the discussion, we can, but basically no one is going to change my opinion about how I feel about this. Okay. All right. And I, I'm repping now LSU land. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm about to go work out, but I had to take the time to do this because it's really been bothering me, the comments I've been hearing. Okay. So first I want to reference something first. Okay. If you want to hear some grown black men talk about this subject, go to um, BS3 podcast on YouTube, okay? The title might say um, a, a movie, um, I think it's Masters. Masters, okay? But they wind up getting on this subject and they wind up not doing a review. That's what that, it, it's um, uh, the forecast, okay? Four and then the cast, like cast, like cast right? of a movie right so it's four cast right that's the it's it's a show on on on, on monday um i think they come on around 8 30 something like that but it's a podcast so you can go check it out i would suggest that if you truly want to understand how some strong black men feel about this subject go watch that show and i think you'll be entertained and you might be informed okay so i want to reference that first Okay, the forecast on Ben uh, BS3 uh, podcast, right? Uh, it's on YouTube. So go check it out. All right. So this is how I feel about it. There's a lot of comments are being made. First of all, let me let me make my opinion perfectly clear. Okay, Will Smith. I don't care about history, uh, his marriage history. I don't care about who it was that was saying it. I don't care about um, the, the platform, being at the Oscars, being at national televised, being at whatever you, however you want to stage this whole incident, right? I want to be perfectly clear, all right? What Will Smith did, I have zero, zero problem with, okay? This is the way I see it. This is Ray to Cal. This is the way I see it. And if anybody has a problem with what I'm about to say, that's you. You got the problem. I don't feel I have a problem at all. Okay. I have zero problem seeing the image of a black man, seeing his queen, regardless to issues in their marriage, a black man, seeing his queen being disrespected in public and handling in that business. I have zero problem with that. That's the kind of image we need to see. That's the image that's missing in our community. Okay? That's the image, if you don't realize it, that's the image that's trying to be weeded out for, for centuries, has been weeded out of our community our black men standing up for our black women. And if you don't get that imagery, if you don't understand that, I'm, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you because that's what, that's what it all boils down to. Now, if you want to discuss, he should have handled it in a different way. If you want to discuss, you know, maybe he shouldn't have slapped him or whatever you want to discuss, right? To me, it doesn't mean anything. What it boils down to is that his wife was disrespected. And this wasn't the first time 
that Chris has went after his wife. Okay. His wife was disrespected. He felt some kind of way about it. And he wouldn't handle this business at the time. That's just the bottom line. That's just the bottom line. Now, I'm going to address some of the questions I've been hearing, some of the comments I've been hearing, because, and I'm making this video because it's really hard to express how you feel about something in just typing a comment, right? So I'm a, I want to truly break my opinions down and why I feel the way I feel, okay? And listen, this might offend some people. I really don't give a damn. I truly don't. I really don't. If you want to really, if you want my, my true opinion about it, I really don't give a damn. Okay. Because I feel, I have very strong feelings about this. I'll put it to you like this. Before I go on, I'll put it to you like this. Anybody come at my wife like that? I'm whipping your ass. Either you're going to whip my ass or I'm whipping your ass. <laughs> okay. Let's just keep that real. Okay. All right. Listen, we don't know behind the scenes how that woman feels about the fact that she has that condition and she has to have, have a short haircut, okay? Now, if you want to minimize that and say it's not a big issue, it's just a short haircut, how many millions of dollars are spent by black women because they're concerned about their hair? Whether it's a natural hairstyle, whether it's you know braids, whether it's wigs, whether it's weave, whatever it is, there's a whole financial uh, 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 segment of this community being supported by black women over hair. So you mean to tell me that doesn't mean anything or she be minimized? No, that's something that's serious. If if it if it if it hurts her feelings. Now, there may be some women that don't have a feel, have a problem with it, but if it hurts her feelings, and that's my wife, a slap is required. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to be a theme. Is a slap required? Yes, a slap was required. Okay? Now, another question I've been hearing, um, had it been a white comedian, would he got up there and, and did that? Okay, let me remind you guys about something, all right? Uh, it wasn't a white comedian and it wasn't uh, on a um, like a national program. Right. But it was seen all over the world. It was seen everywhere. There was a guy a few years ago that uh, Will was walking uh, in a crowd and he went uh, he was speaking to the guy and the guy went to kiss him. Right. He went to kiss him. Right. And Will slapped him. It wasn't as it wasn't as uh, uh, to me as uh, majestic as the slap that Chris took <laughs> had to eat. Right. But it was still a slap. It was a crowded place. It caught him off guard and he slapped the guy. So this is part of who he is. Will ain't no punk just because he's had some some comedic roles, just because, you know, we see him in a certain light. The guy is from West Philly. He's in shape. And um, it's in his DNA. He slapped this white guy in public for trying to kiss him. It was required. The slap was required. Let me ask you a question. If you were um, not famous, you was on the streets, okay? Somebody, a man you spoke to try to kiss you. What are you going to do? If you kiss him back, that makes you um what? Okay? A slap is required. You understand what I'm saying? So, he's done it before. He's done it to a white guy in public. Okay? So, if it was a white comedian that went up there and said something to his wife like that, yes, I believe Will would have did the same thing. Another thing people are saying, oh, yeah, if it had been Mike Tyson or if it had been some big or if it had been 50 or it would have been some strong dude up there that was hard. Would he have went up there and did it? I don't know. But I tell you what, I don't think Will is a punk. and I don't think he's afraid of anyone. And I will say it again. I don't care who it is. 
You do that to my wife, you're going to whip my ass or I'm going to whip your ass. Bottom line. So, yes, I do, be I do believe that regardless to who it was, being white, black, strong, buff, hard, whoever it was, he would have done it. Okay, he would have done it. That's what I. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. Okay. Another thing I've been hearing. Oh, that's a bad image for two black men to have a physical confrontation. You know, in in public, it's just embarrassing. Do you know how embarrassing it is to have our community being shown in such negative light every freaking day? So. That is what is that's gonna break the straw, the camel's back, or however you say that line. How you say that line? Yeah, that's gonna be the straw that breaks the camel's back. That he slapped Will, he slapped Chris in public. All the shit that the negative imagery that we see every day in the black community. That's what you're gonna stand on. No, that's a positive image. That's an image of a black man standing up for his queen. That's a positive image. That's not a negative image. That's the image that's, that, that we need to see in our community. We need to copy that image. We need to start standing up for our black women in public. So that's the image that, that's, that's a positive to me. So you miss me with that. Two, two men being physical in public. Two black men being physical in public. That's negative. No, that's not negative. That's positive. Because you disrespected my queen and I handled my business. Okay? All right, what's the other one? The other one is, um, okay, so, um, well, Chris, you know, he, he shouldn't have just stood there and just took that. He should have fought back. And then would have been, then would have been. Well, you know what? Maybe Chris realized when he saw him stand up and started walking toward him, he maybe he realized, you know what? I may have crossed the line. You know what? Whatever I get, I'm going to just eat this. Maybe he was being a man about the situation because he knew if the tables were reversed, how he would have felt. Maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to get up there and slap the guy, but he would have felt it in his heart. I Man, I want to slap the shit out of that dude talking about my wife like that. Will just got up there and did it. So maybe that's why Chris didn't react in the way people are saying, oh, he should have did this, he should have did that. Maybe he realized in the moments, the, the few steps it took for, for Will to get to Chris, maybe he realized in his mind, you know, whatever I get, I get. <laughs> I, maybe I did cross the line. You know what I'm saying? So we want to start analyzing and start, you know, making up reasons why this happened and that happened. Maybe that's why Chris didn't react because he realized he was wrong. You ever thought about that? Okay, all right. What's the other one? Um, there was another one that I that I I heard. Um, I talked about uh, he wouldn't do it to another black guy. He wouldn't do it to a you know real buff guy, somebody that can fight. And look, look, Chris is in. I mean, uh, uh, Will is in shape, man. And look, all these roles. You look at Will. Uh, did you know? Did did Will grow up knowing how to handle guns? Will handle guns. He's been in roles and he takes these roles serious. He does his research. He trains for these roles. Will can handle a firearm. Will has been fighting in roles. So even if he wasn't, if even if it wasn't that Philly background of being able to ha having to be able to uh, protect myself and learn to throw these hands, if it's not that, you don't think over time he's learned to protect himself. So now what you're saying is because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a buff dude or it's a, you know, a hard dude that he's going to punk out and not, and not you, know, you know, defend his wife because the other person is somebody who's maybe, maybe you know, tougher than him or whatever. No, nah, man. I'm telling you right now, I ain't the baddest dude in the world. I ain't the strongest dude in the world. But again, I will repeat, you disrespect my wife. I'm whipping your ass. Or you're going to have to whip my ass. One of the two. Something is going to occur. So no, I don't, I have no issue with that at all. Okay. I'm trying to think there's another one, another point that was brought out and I really want to touch on it. Um, 
the smile, the smile. Okay, here's the thing about the smile. So the joke was told. Chris is rolling, he's telling jokes, right? He told a joke about, about Jada, right? And we all saw Will had a smile on his face, okay? Let me touch on that for a second. How many times, I know it happens to me a lot, how many times when something happens in a split second, you think, you know, it, it was kind of funny. Then it re, you, you, it start, you start absorbing what's being said. Man, that's fucked up. And I look over at my wife and she's hurt. I'm getting up and handling some business. So the fact that he had a smile on his face could have been for multiple reasons. He could have at initially just been rolling with the moment and said, huh, huh. and then he realized, snap, shit was, that's fucked up. My wife is hurt. Let me go handle some business. So that could have easily have happened that way. Two, there's another, another part I want to bring out also. Okay. And I'm not, cause I don't know what happened in this guy's mind, but everybody want to say what happened in his mind. Everybody want to say, this is what he was thinking. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to address all those little thoughts that people have been putting out there. Okay. What about this? How many times have in anger, you smile, you laugh because you're so pissed off. That's the immediate emotion that comes up. <laughs> About to whip his ass. You see what I'm saying? So we don't know what that smile was about. We don't know what it's about. Now, let's reel this back. Hold on. Babe, did I address everything? Because I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to, I should have wrote all the little comments. Man, I've been pissed off all morning. Reading some of these Facebook comments. Y'all really, y'all, I'll put it, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to put it this way. I ain't going to say white folks. I'm going to say the powers to be have really done a number on you guys. When you are going to reduce this to being something what it's not, the bottom line to this is a black man saw his queen, a, a king, saw his queen being disrespected in public and went up there and handled his business. That's what this all boils down to. I don't care about money. I don't care about imagery. I don't care about being famous. I don't care that it's on a national stage. I don't care who was watching. That's what this all boils down to. And that's what, that's what really confuses me. But I think it's because we are not used to seeing black men standing up for their women. I think that's what it really boils down to. And we get confused about that. Oh, we shouldn't, we should handle it more diplomatically. We should handle it, you know, uh, uh, we should have, he should have waited till he was backstage. He should have did this, he should have did that. A slap was required after you disrespected my wife. I can't say it more simpler than that. Okay? Now, let's go on. Okay? After it happened, he go he gets his 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 Oscar. He gets up there and he, he kind of explains his feelings. He gets emotional about the whole situation. Everybody want to discount that as that was fake. See, y'all so one-sided. Y'all so one-sided. You see the man angry and get up there and do something because he's angry and he's pissed off. Then he feels bad about it because he realized how people's going to see it. Whether you're right or wrong, you know people are going to receive it in the wrong way. And he gets emotional and he gets up there and cries in front of everyone. And y'all got shit to say about that too. Y'all kill me, man. Y'all really kill me. So he gets up there in your eyes, not in my eyes. I'm loud because it pisses me off. My wife has said I'm loud. I'm loud because it really pisses me off. He gets up there and does something out of emotions because he's pissed off about the way his wife is disrespected. 
He gets backstage. He starts to realize it. Denzel says something to him. He starts to understand how this imagery is going to be perceived. And he's hurt. And he gets up there and he's emotional. Y'all can't even accept that shit. Y'all kill me, man. Y'all really kill me. These folks have done a number on y'all, for real. They have done a, they have done a real number on y'all. Now look, I know I'm gonna probably get some negative comments about this. I'm a man. And if you want to come at me, come at me. I don't really care. I truly don't care because how I feel about this subject is not going to change. I don't care what you say, I don't care what you do. I don't care what I don't it doesn't matter. Because I'm I have strong convictions about my feelings about this subject. And the reason why is because this is what God has compelled me to do. Protect my queens. You understand? And that's what I see Will did the other night. He protected his queen. So you want to come at me? Come at me. I don't give a damn. Guys, I'm going to say this, and you can take it how you want to take it, but all I'm going to say is this. Will Smith, in my opinion, has zero to apologize for. Zero. That's my opinion, and that's my bottom line. So, guys, um, I know this ain't the normal videos. I know this ain't normally how what I talk about. Uh, I got some stuff about Raiders I want to talk about. I got some gun stuff I want to put out there. I'm still got some lifestyle changes videos I need to put out. But um, I had to come out with this because I, very, I feel very strongly about it, and I'm very pissed off this morning about how this story is being uh, um, talked about and how it's being received by, the, by, by all communities. It really, really shocks me. But listen, guys, I'm going to end this video like I always do. Guys, love each other. Take care of each other. And guys, be blessed. Ready Cab is out. Protect Peace. The Protect the queens. Thank you. <laughs> Ready Cab is out. I knew there was one more thing I wanted to add to my comment, right? So just... I apologize, but I need to I need to make this comment also. If he doesn't, if Will doesn't do that at that moment and shut this down, right? Can you imagine the memes? Can you imagine the jokes? Could you imagine Jada having to relive that embarrassing moment years and years later? So what will so everyone that wanted to say, oh, it shouldn't have happened, he shouldn't have done it in public, he shouldn't just imagine what she would have had to endure. Now you want to minimize her feelings and say she has no reason to be hurt. If you want to do that, then I think you're being insensitive. I think you're not taking her feelings um for uh, that has it has any value. And I'm gonna value her feelings. I don't know the woman like that. I only know what I see her in public. But I know she's a black woman that has feelings. And I know how black women feel about their hair. So you put two and two together, I can understand how she has a feeling, have negative feelings about the fact that she is forced to wear a hairstyle that she might not want to be uh, uh, wearing. So she would have had to live, relive that joke Relive the means. Relive all the things that have, would have occurred after that if Will hadn't got up there and handled his business. So once again, you want to say it shouldn't have happened in that manner. It should have. He should have waited to afterwards. Maybe because he was so dramatic about it. Maybe because he handled his business aggressively. And with absolute, <laughs> you know, there's no questions about how he feels about it. Because he did it in that manner, maybe it stopped what would have occurred if he had. All I want to remind you guys of this, how long 
have we seen the crying Jordan meme? Okay? How long have we seen that? Now, my Jordan might not have a, a problem with it, right? But this woman would have probably have to endure years of reliving that moment. And in your mind, it may have been something simple. It was just a joke. In her heart, in her mind, she would have had to relive that moment for years to come. So the fact that Will went up there and stopped that, just killed that right away, I'm on board. That's the other point I want to make out. I want to I want to bring out. So guys, I thank you for your time again. Guys, take care of each other, love each other. Guys, be blessed. Ready Cap is out. Peace.